IOL exchange, monofocal IOL explantation, and trifocal toric IOL implantation. Actually, I did the FICO emulsification with monofocal IOL for this patient three weeks before doing the IOL exchange. And despite of the far vision for this patient, it was 2020 and the patient was unhappy for reading. Despite of discussing with the patient the need for reading glasses, anyway, there is long story for this patient and there is no space to speak about it. Let me back to my case. After marking 0, 180 degrees, when the patient in sitting position before peripalbar blocking, then you can see I'm doing marking of the axis of placement of the IOL, which, which was 75 degrees. Here is the uh, clear corneal incision. Then I inject my hydratic agent to dilate the pupil. Here is dispersive OVT. Filling the anterior chamber, I'm trying to extract the IOL out the bag into the anterior chamber. Actually, this surgery was done three weeks before doing the IOL exchange. It was easy to extract the IOL out of the bag. As we can see, just I'm trying to do a separation of the anterior uh, capsule from the posterior capsule, just to, uh, injecting viscoelastic, then uh, using the Coglin uh, instrument to extract the first haptic out of the bag. Then here is the second haptic out of the bag. Now you can see the both haptics and the IOL inside the anterior chamber out of the bag. Then it's the time for the IOL explantation. As we can see here, I'm going to make the a twist and out technique, but unfortunately the straight uh, tying forceps was not avail available on, on my table. So I this time I use the um, McPherson uh, forceps as we can see just twisting and protecting the back of the cornea using the Coglin instrument as you can see twist the IOL and at the same time explant the entire of the IOL it's out of the eye now and the capsular bag is intact everything is intact so it's the time to fill the uh, capsular bag and the antechamber with the cohesive now implanting the toric trifocal IOL inside the capsular bag with adjusting the three dots uh, marks on the IOL with the pre-existing um, corneal marks which is 75 degrees. Now we can see the IOL inside the capsular bag and washing out the viscoelastic anterior and behind the IOL is very important in toric IOLs. Now you can see the IOL uh, settled properly inside the capsular bag. Look at the three dots marks on the uh, IOL which is parallel with the 75 degrees corneal marks and look at the beautiful 360 degrees of overlapping of the capsular rixes with the optic of the IOL then injecting my call to constrict the pupil and doing stromal hydration. I see this patient on the next day. Patient was happy with vision in 2022. And thank you for watching.